Oh, what's up YouTube? I'm going to show you today quickly how to install 660 LME light custom firmware onto any PSP model. This will work on any PSP model available for purchase today. So please do not ask me in the comments if it's going to work on your PSP. If you have 660 like I do on this one, it will work on your PSP. And first things first, just want to give a big shout out to my homies over here in FTB2 all my people's epic clan all right back to business first things first download the video the file in the description once you do go into USB mode and open up that file now once you're in USB mode and your PSP window opens up have your PSP here Here's the file in the description right here. Just take this PSP folder and drop it into your memory stick. Don't drop it into the PSP folder, just drop it into the memory stick. If you don't get a message like this that says uh, you have a PSP folder already, do you want to merge it? Then you did it wrong. You should go back and do it right. So click yes to merge the folders and it will copy all the LME stuff. And then uh, you can disconnect your PSP. So disconnect, and when you go over to the game section, you will see an installer and a launcher. First, run the installer. All my FTB, FTB2 people. Right there. All right. Now you'll get these announcements from Neuron. Target file, me.pbp unpacking, done. And then you'll get a change log. It'll tell you the all the stuff that's been changed in the in the latest version. This is version 1.4. This is the latest one. So it says press X to install, square to uninstall, R to exit. Press X. It will write a few files. And then it will say update complete, restarting. And then it will reboot your PSP. Alright, now you've installed everything, but you still don't have custom firmware. To get into custom firmware, go back into the game section. You already ran the installer. Actually, at this point in time, you can delete the installer because you'll never need it again. So delete the installer from your PSP. Now you have the launcher. Launch the CFW by running the launcher. It's just going to give you a black screen, send you back to the XMB. And that's that. There's your VSH menu. You press select to get into the VSH menu. And then I'll just show you real quick. 660 LME 1.4. Now anytime your PSP battery dies or uh, you know you freeze or anything like that, um, you will get you will have to reinstall. And to do that, you just go over here run the launcher again and you're all set and ready to go so once you run that launcher you're good you'll be back in custom firmware so that's it and then I want to show you guys this one cool feature this is brand new in version 1.4 when you go into your uh, VSH menu if you hold L and R and press start this uh, VSH edit mode menu will come up and this is all the options that are in your VSH menu and you can either enable them or disable them so like if you don't use certain ones like I never use these plug-in ones so I'll disable those I never use the ISO video mount so I'll disable that and I never use reset device I always use reset VSH so I'll disable that as well and then once you exit all those options are removed from your VSH menu and that's pretty much it LCFW on your PSP. You can go into uh, your recovery menu.
you get a full recovery menu everything that's in um, regular ME is in the LME you can do just about whatever you want with it so that's it make sure you subscribe check out sneaky-codes.tk for all your PSP hacks homebrew games everything and uh, sneaky-media.com for all your PSP friendly ISOs movies uh, TV shows, music, everything. And the whole site is PSP friendly at sneaky-media.com. Make sure you check it out. Uh, that's all for today, guys. Sworn Leader signing out. One more, one more shout out to my FTB2 homies in the locked room. Because you can't be on FTB2 on an unlocked room. Heard it here first. Sworn Leader signing out.